Hello toy fans, today I am here with a really wonderful toy for the uh, preschool age range. This is by VTech Toys and this is called the Treasure Seekers Pirate Ship. Now this toy is uh, good for toddlers but it's also really good for preschool age kids because it has a lot to do, uh, there's a lot to do with this toy. It is a lot of fun, it's really cool and it's incredibly detailed. So I'm going to show you some things about this um, toy, which is really wonderful. It's probably my top pick for the 2019 Christmas season for this age range. So when you first look at this toy, even before you switch it on, because it does have some really cool interactive features, there is so much to look at. So it comes with these two characters. So we have the captain of the ship, whose name is Monty. And Monty has a little hook hand, and he's got his pirate hat on, and he has an eye patch. He does not, however, have a pirate, but that's the only thing he is lacking. And look at the details in the clothes. <laughs> I love the details on VTech toys. So that's Monty. And then we have the first mate here, and the first mate's name is Stanley. And he's got the little sailor cap on, and again, very detailed, very cute. And as you can see here, now this almost works like, this part here almost works like a little teeter-totter. And I'm going to show you more details later. But you see the way that these, um, each character has like a hole in the center? They can all, or the hole at the bottom, they can all fit onto these little pegs. And these pegs actually have sensors in them, so when the toy is turned on and you put a character onto these pegs, they will speak. They will react to them. And I will turn on the shift soon and show you that. But you also have this really cute pirate sail. You have the little crow's nest up here, and there is a peg here where the characters can sit in the crow's nest. You can turn this around. Um, it also has a cannonball, which really does fire. I'm not going to do it right now because my cat's over here, and if I send the, if I knock the cannonball out, she'll just chase it down the hole and make a lot of noise. But basically, this cannonball does fire. Um, there's also a little string here that you can pull the ship along. It is on wheels, so it, even though it can't go in the water, a child can pull it along. My one complaint about this, and it's been my complaint about other toys by VTech as well, is that I wish there was a little ball or a little grip at the end that the child can hold on to. Right now, it's just a string, and it's really hard to hold on to, so I wish there was something at the end that just made it easier to hold, up, hold it. Um, there's a second sail up here, and then also up here is another space for the little characters to sit and then if you look here this comes um, kind of as free as a freestanding piece it is a treasure chest and inside there is treasure it's just a sticker but it's very effective uh, looking treasure with gems and jewelry and and coins or doubloons I guess you would say and then you have all these cool little details like here you have a shovel and a map as if they're gonna go looking for treasure as the name suggests and I also love how tactile everything is like things make noise when they move um, and then if you come down here it's very detailed you have a little anchor you have a cannon two cannons uh, but they're just stickers but one is fire one is firing and one just has smoke coming out of it if it just fired you have this nice detail on the back of the ship nice detail on the windows VTech is of course known to be very very detailed um, even though they make toys for a, young, a much younger age range than a lot of playset companies, they're very, very detailed. Two more cannons here. Two more windows here. Now, these are not painted gold, as you'll notice, um, on this side. They're painted gold on the other side, but this is kind of the back of the ship, so it's not as much. But still, like, look at even these. The shapes almost look like sea. I mean, there's an eagle here, but it almost has, like, a seashell shape in this one, too. And then there's just a window down here. And then, if you look at the front of the ship, there's a cannonball. The front of the ship does not have a mermaid, but it has this really cool bird character. Look at that. Do you see the gold bird? I kind of wonder why it's a bird, and there's also an eagle over here. So I don't know why there's a whole eagle aesthetic going on, rather than a mermaid, like you would normally see at the front of a ship. But it's still really cool. I like it. Now, before I turn this on and show you exactly how this works, because it can be very, very noisy, I'm going to open it up. So here's the magic of this set. This ship opens up to be one of the coolest play sets that I have seen on the market for this age range. And again, this is really hard to do with one hand when I'm holding the camera. 
but oops so there comes the character so here we go so when this opens up it becomes basically twice the size that it was and as you can see it is really cool really really colorful and it comes with this little character he is a little octopus and you see the little wheel on the octopus you can wheel him around and he's really cute when you wheel him around his legs move <laughs> So he's adorable and he has a little place to sit right here if you want to leave him in the playset. So everything has its place too. And then the the um, the treasure kind of moves around. You can put that really anywhere that you want. You can put it here, here, on the side, over here. It doesn't have any set place. But anyway, what I wanted to show you with this is just how detailed everything is. So when you open the ship up, as you can see here, there's this little like, um, it's almost like a little pool type of area, a little lock pool or well, um, the pirate skull, obviously. Then you have the little place where the, um, the little octopus sits, and he's got a sticker down here that shows a starfish and a shell, and this is a beautiful gold coloring. And then you have the gray walkway, and then over here you have a map and an, um, an eye glass or spy glass. Over here, I don't know if you can see it, it's a, it's a sticker of a parrot. <laughs> so there's the parrot. Remember I said that the captain didn't have a parrot? Well, there it is, with trees in the background. And then over here, there is a sticker depicting a little turtle in a pool. And then over here, it's a, I don't know if you can see the sticker. I don't know if this is showing. It's an island with um, a dragon. So it's really cool. Like, my, I guess it's more of a sea monster than a dragon, considering the whole aesthetic of the set. So that's the bottom half of it. And then over here, we have, you know, this little stairwell. And this leads up to, you can look out the windows. There's a picture here of a ship sailing. There's spiders over here with spider web. And then there's like another, um, more treasure and a skull over on this side. And then there's also, this is the teeter-totter from this side. As you can see, there's some like um, grass detailing or flower detailing. So now, and this just rocks back and forth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to show you all the things that this does. So when you turn this, this is really hard to do when I'm holding my head. So there's two switches. So one switch is going to turn the, um, the ship on the other sh um, switch is going to control things like volume and what happens so we'll turn on and as you can Welcome see there's aboard. a red button a blue Hi button there. a green button let's explore press one of the buttons to play so let's see if we hit one this is the number one okay now we hit this sales begins with the letter s this button is green this button is red. See, red it. begins with the letter R. <laughs> this is the number two. Treasure begins with the letter T. <laughs> so you see, so no matter how many times you, you press it, it will tell you a different fact. Um, and then if we go on to this one. Let's pretend and play. We need to get ready before we set sail. Press the cannon button to make sure it's working. So to press the cannon, oh, we had to press this button up here and then we'll shoot the cannon out. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I'm just showing you how this plays. Um, Let's have fun with music. Press one of the buttons to play. So you can hit like this button. And it will play. Okay, so let me just turn this off. Hi there. Let's yeah, explore. Let's take this Press off. one of the buttons to play. Now some of these. Let me see how we can get this to work. Hi there. Let's explore. No. Press one of They'll the buttons to play. Way. Hello, I'm Stanley the Sailor. See the way that it changes? It knows when this is Stanley. Uh, versus Monty, so it can distinguish the difference between the two characters. This is the number one. Now, it always speaks in the carrot in the captain's voice, which is very interesting to me. But it will recognize when it's Stanley. Anchors up. See, and in his voice, it will say "anchors up," which I think is really, really cool that it recognizes the difference in the characters. Um, 
welcome aboard. I'm Captain Monty. Let's set sail. Isn't that cool? And then like there's all these sound effects that make you think that you're on a ship. Like, and I just think that that's really a nice feature. And then as I said, they have these all these sections over here that they can play. And even in places where there's no actual peg, they can fit everywhere that, you know, like for example, there's no place that they don't fit. So even though there's no actual peg for them, like see there's pegs here, there's no Press pegs here, they can explore. still walk. I'm just gonna shut this off or if I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, they can sit here. Um, they can go over here, you know, they they basically are created, they are made to scale, so they can fit anywhere on the ship. Um, so overall, I really, really, really like this set. I just think it is so cute. I think it's wonderful that it comes with the little guy, the little um, octopus that you can move on the floor. Um, I think it's great how it talks to you, how it's really interactive, it tells kids facts, and I just love the whole aesthetic of it, the way that it opens up. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it also closes up very easily. It, um, it doesn't take a lot of effort at all. Um, and it's it's kind of a big set. I mean, granted it is, it's bigger than a lot of other sets, but it also, um, it's easy to fold away and it's not as, it's not anywhere near as big as some of VTech's past sets, like the, uh, the there was a mermaid castle set a couple of years ago which i have a review of on my channel and that was much bigger than this it was awesome but it was much bigger than this um so this is really not that bad it's compact and you can definitely you know put you fold it up and put it in the corner um but i think it is something that children will play with a lot um i think kids will enjoy this especially if they love like the pirates of the caribbean movies i think this is just something that is perfect for them so again, this is the Treasure Seekers Pirate Ship from VTech Toys. Um, it is available now. It's a new release for the holiday season of 2019, and it retails for $39.99. So it's about $40, and of course, if you look out, you can get it on sale. So again, I would highly recommend this for parents with toddlers. Uh, even parents with preschoolers who love pirates will probably get a lot of enjoyment out of this. Um, and obviously if you have characters from other VTech sets, you can certainly play with them on the ship as well because all the characters in the VTech line for the most part are to the same scale. So even if you have characters that are from a completely different world than the pirate uh, world, you can still, you know, include them and in, you can still play with them in this, in this setting if you wanted to mix and match and just kind of increase the imaginative play. So, um, this is as I said before, this is probably going to be my top pick uh, of all toys for children in this age range for Christmas this year. Um, I would say also that I like the fact that even though a lot of times pirate stuff is directed more towards boys, I do think that this is a set that girls will enjoy as well. So I would consider this unisex. Like you could definitely give this to a girl and I think that they would enjoy it just as much as the boys do, especially considering how cute that little octopus is. So thank you for watching and please check back to my channel soon for more videos. Bye.